from KPRC. This is Channel 2 News Today. MW Cleaners is helping to make the wishes of young ladies in the area come true with a special prom dress drive benefiting the Giving Gown Foundation. So joining us this morning is Michael Nesbitt and Cassie Miller. Good yes, morning. Yes, thank you so much for being here, both of you. Thank you. Um, so I'll start with you. Um, how long have you guys been doing this uh, gown giveaway? The Giving Gown Foundation started in 2007. 2007? Yes. And so, um, I mean, that's, that's quite some time. <laughs> we'll just take it from last year. How many, how many young ladies did it help out? We served about 750 girls last year. Wow, 750 girls that wouldn't otherwise have the means Correct. to pay for a prom dress. Yes. That is so, that, that's, that's just really cool because I know that it, it definitely brightens some of those young ladies. Um, the end of their the end of their time in high school um, what else goes along with that dress because something else goes along with it too right yes while the girls are focused on their dress we're focused on them they get a personal shopper mm -hmm. that we call a fairy godmother and she takes them through our boutique and allows them to choose a dress of their choice and then they accessorize it we get on-site alterations and then they're allowed to attend a self-esteem seminar and they have a boutique lunch and as they leave the junior league of the woodlands has donated swag bags of beauty and hygiene products I just love that yeah. because it's supporting them, it's empowering mm -hmm. those young ladies, making them feel special and unique. Yes. That is just amazing. But you can't do it without uh, special partners. Mm -hmm. And Michael, that's where you <laughs> come in, helping to um, donate and support their efforts. So why did you decide to, to partner with Giving Gown Foundation? You know, prom's probably going to be one of those top 10 things in your life that you want to do. And certainly when you're a 17 or 18 year old young lady, and we just didn't want uh, any young lady not to be able to go to prom because they didn't have something to wear. Hmm. And so we have, let's see, some of the dresses here in the studio, mm -hmm. and they're just they're just beautiful. I can only imagine those young ladies wearing them and feeling just like a queen. It's like a princess on that day. <laughs> on that day. So how many uh, ladies do you have, young ladies, do you have registered already? Right now we have almost 1,100 girls. Oh, wow. So last yeah. year it was 750, and this year 1,100. So do you need any more gowns? We do, and you can donate at any of the area. MW cleaners. We also need shoes at this time and they'll they'll be collecting them for us as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You. Really appreciate it, Cassie. And then, of course, you, Michael, and for all of your efforts, great, uh, great, 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 great foundation uh, supporting young ladies here in the city. So April 10th and 11th, that's going to be the huge uh, gown giveaway, and it's going to start Friday at 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Again, thank you both thank for you. being here. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, of course, you can find more information and see a replay of this interview online at clickgehouston.com. It will be posted under the hot button a little after the show.